What's up guys? A lot of you guys asked me recently about Casper, specifically when a tier one is going to list it. I have a crystal ball right here. It says, I don't know. And that's pretty much my answer, my answer for Casper. But I want to help you guys feel a little bit better. Not going to be a confirmation bias video. Just going to tell you guys why I'm not worried about Caspa at all. I know sometimes I joke about it. I joke a lot about Caspa. It doesn't mean I'm not I'm selling it or something stupid like that. Like I hold a very big bag of it. But I want to tell you guys this. Get excited for accumulation. Why are you concerned about it being the way it is? A lot of you guys, and I see the comments. Hey, John, I wish I, you know, you know, bought it at one cent with you, two cents. I wish it went down below 10 cents again. Just knowing a lot of people wish they could have bought Casper sub 10 cents. If they're not looking at this as accumulation, then they really don't understand what Casper really is. Because Casper at this price for this long is a blessing. This is like Christmas for the entire year. Now, I'm not part of this cult mentality and going to say it's going to be overtaking Bitcoin and everything. I don't believe that. But fundamentally, there's very few projects out there that can compete with Casper. Fundamentally, not speaking multipliers and price action. I mean, from a fundamental standpoint, a risk to reward and in generality, the community is just growing every day. Like it's the safest crypto, in my opinion, aside from Bitcoin and Ethereum. It has the safety of them intact, but also only a four, or in this case, a 3.2 billion circulating market cap. So it can give you a lot more multipliers, which it will, than Bitcoin and Ethereum, but it has the same safety, in my opinion, as them too. Because it's fair launch, the tech's amazing, revolutionary, first of its kind. I believe it's saw the Charlemma, uh, Yonatan Sampolinsky. Could be Satoshi, who knows? Obviously, I would never buy Caspa just on that. Oh, he might be a Satoshi, let me buy it. Like, you have to research it, go on their website, look at what it entails, look at why it's proof of work with a block dag tech, what makes it solve the trilemma, how it compares to Bitcoin, to Ethereum, maybe Cardano, whatever else you're looking at. And you'll start to see some of the things that I see, some of the things that other people see, the ones who really believe in it, the ones who are heavy into it. Now, I would never go all into Casper as a maxi. I know some people are going to disagree with that. Not here to debate. Could care less what you do with your money. I think being a maxi for anything is a poor way to go about it. Unless you just want to go to bed at night and not worry about anything, it's fine. But in the sense of it being flat for as long as it is, you have to understand you're leaving gains on the table, right? Maybe you are okay with that. Maybe you're not. Whatever your case is, um... Regardless, though, I want you guys to take a look at Casper right now and realize that there's no tier one listing it and it's holding pretty strong at this price, 14 cents. Now, some of you will say, well, that's a liability. It's not doing anything because nothing listed it. Well, it has a 34.3 million trading volume and that's 30% down despite no tier one listing. So who's buying it? Where are they buying it? Some questions to ask, right? Also, KuCoin went down recently. And the trading volume is still this high? This is unheard of. Caspa is in the top 30, last I checked, at one point top 20. Despite no big tier exchange listing. That's remarkable. Again, unheard of. So in my opinion, it's only a matter of time before it gets on these exchanges. But I wouldn't worry about when it happens. Hopefully it's this year. Maybe it's next year. No one really knows. But in my eyes, if I didn't have a bag that was ideal for me yet, I wouldn't worry about something you can't control, something you don't understand when it's going to happen. I would just DCA, not financial advice, and accumulate. Because you buying this at 14 cents, I assure you, in the next bear market, you'll be seeing people saying, I wish I bought Caspa at 14 cents. It's going to come. Trust me, it's going to come. It happens every cycle for Bitcoin, for Ethereum, these old coins, they always say, retail always says, I wish I bought this crypto at this time. I wish I was in the market at this time. I can't believe the crypto was at this price for this long and I didn't do anything. You'll be surprised how much inaction leads to regret in this market. Casper, again, being at this price for as long as it has, 
is a blessing. But don't take it for granted. It's not going to last forever. Could it last another day, another week, another month? Could we see more FUD for it? Sure. Could it dip down further? Sure. But there's a fear and greed index for a reason. Because the majority of people will see this, either stay away because it's not doing anything, it's boring, or they become greedy and say, it's going to hit nine cents. It's going back to two cents and I'll never make a move. Like I always say, you're in a football game, right? We're playing. Maybe I'm getting demolished. Maybe I fumbled it and you guys are just scoring on me. But it's better to be a player and lose until you start to win than to be a spectator just watching and having no insight on how your future comes out. Just my personal observation. You can say, go F yourself, John. Who cares what you think? I'm just telling you guys, um, make sure you're making moves, right? Caspa, I won't be surprised. Eventually, a tier one will list it. Maybe it's Kraken. Maybe it's Binance. Maybe it's Crypto.com. No one really knows what's going to happen, when it's going to happen. It's all speculation. Anyone that tells you they have inside knowledge is most likely lying to you. But like I say, anytime you feel a certain way about a crypto, zoom out, really research it, analyze it, your risk to reward, and make it move accordingly. And by the way, if you want to reach out to me, talk to me. See what crypto I'm buying, sell, and trading next. Be a part of a private support group of like-minded investors who want to change their life with massive profits. And a good handful have already done that already. If you want to be around for tomorrow's conference call and private live streams, I do them every single week, twice a week. Then I encourage you guys to join Patreon and Discord. I'll leave a link in the pinned comments down below. But anyways, now I want to hear from you. Are you still holding Casper? And if so, where do you see its prices bull cycle? Drop your comments down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.